Okay, this will be a how-to video on uh, replacing the engine mount on a Duramax. Uh, this is a 2007 Chevy Silverado. Um, and this application will actually go for a 2001 to 2010 um, Duramax Chevy Silverado or Sierra, three-quarter ton. So uh, this is the actual um, engine mount right here, and this is what we're going to be uh, installing. Alright, so first what I'm going to go ahead and do is, uh, of course, get access. Um, I'm inside the driver's side wheel well right now. Um, I went ahead and took off all the plastic uh, body clips and pulled the uh, the whole plastic shroud out. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take out this, uh, this whole intercooler tube right here. Alright, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull that boot off, boot off right now. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and get up to the top here and pull off the intercooler. From the Alright, so now once you got the intercooler pipe off, you want to go ahead and take off this this uh, big steering shaft right here. Um, this is a 15 millimeter, and uh, once once you get that, the thing will just simply drop down, move this out of the way. But the really the biggest thing right now is all these wiring harnesses that will be actually be in the way uh, to be able to get to the actual mount itself, which is right there. That's the whole mount assembly itself that I got to pull out of here. Okay, once you get that 15 millimeter bolt loose, um, there'll be a bracket nut right here. Simply go ahead and just pull this out right here. Just like that, it just slides right out. So once you got the steering shaft off, go ahead and take off this uh, front wheel here so you can get more access here. Okay, so next what you want to do is, uh, of course, jack stand it and get it off the ground. So basically, once you get out of the truck, um, what I did is I, I just went ahead and uh, I got a lifted truck, so it's really tough for me to be able to get a jack under there and jack that engine up. So that's the bell housing right there. Here's the transmission. And uh, so basically, I went ahead and uh, I jacked it up from in between the bell housing and right next to that oil pan on this end on the driver's side because obviously that's where I want to pick it up at so if you can see that I went ahead and jacked it up just a little bit up um. okay so uh, got the mount pulled out right here here's the old mount you can see this is what was going on right here the uh, rubber actually um, unfused itself from the from the metal so, see that? So basically, um, when you pull this thing out, you're gonna have three bolts right here on the bottom. This is gonna be on the part. Of, this is gonna be actually on the frame right here, and it's gonna sit on just like that, and then uh, it's gonna mount itself to the engine right here. So you're gonna have two bolts right here and here. And another two right here and these are actually going to be the smaller bolts all right so you're gonna have three bolts just like this that go right here on the bottom it's like that pretty simple one thing i'll tell you um took me quite a long time to pull these uh, these guys out of here simply for the fact that from the factory there's loctite on it so very hard to get off i actually snapped one bolt and i'm and i just uh, got a new bolt to replace it and what i used for it, what i used to pull the bolts off was um I went ahead and used my ratchet, 15 millimeter, and I also used a cheater pipe right here. And that's what the cheater pipe looked like. And to be honest with you, I needed every bit of it just because uh, it wasn't coming out all the way. I did, my impact wasn't, wasn't able to zip it out. Okay, I did get hung up a little bit. So uh, basically what you need to do is attach, once you, once you actually install the new mount, you want to attach these bolts to the actual engine itself on this side first, not to the frame, not to this bracket, to the frame. All right, very important because the bolts aren't going to line up. Make sure that you you attach the two bolts on each side of the bracket to the engine. Okay. Now, once you got that done, you want to lower your jack uh, to lower your actual engine, and then line up these holes. Pretty simple, right? This is where I got hung up at. The bolts weren't lining up to the bottom mount to the frame, so. I did it. Let me show you a little trick if you get hung up. All right, so basically, you got the engine mount down there. If you, I'm gonna kind of pan out here. Uh, you got the shock, 
you know, of course, um, the A-arm and all that. So what you want to do is you want to go around behind here, and you're going to see these two bolts right here. Those two bolts right there actually hold the engine mount in place. Uh, what you want to do is pull those two bolts out, and once you pull those out, you, it's actually it's pretty free now. So what you can do is line up that lower bracket with your actual new engine mount. Once you do that, go ahead and slide those bolts in, and then uh, lower the engine down again, and get those two bolts to line up straight, those two right there. Get them in there, you know, go ahead and torque them down, uh, and then lower your jack, and then that's the quickest way to go ahead and line those bolts up, because you're probably going to get hung up on there. Hardest part about the job, right there. All right, guys, uh, another successful install video. Um, hope this video helped. Hey, listen, if you have a Duramax, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I'm always posting uh, new upgrades or, you know, fixes. So uh, thanks for watching and have a good day.